dusty walk, the dusty way start. On his way, he makes a day. Body was the crowd which followed, hungry for the living bread. I must touch him, pride of woman. I must touch him or I die. So she reached and touched his garment as he passed by. Reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. You will find he's not too busy to answer your heart's cry. He is passing by this moment. All your needs he will supply. Just reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. One dark and stormy night on the Sea of Galilee, the disciples were so fearful of the fury of the sea. While upon the rushing waters, in the blackness of the night, came the blessed Lord of glory, he made the tip to pass him back. Reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. But he's not too busy to answer your heart's cry. He is passing by this moment. All your needs he will supply. Just reach out and touch the Lord as he goes by. Oh, I do now. Mm -hmm. Thank God. You just reach out and touch the Lord. Mm -hmm. I normally wouldn't have been able to sing two songs in a row like that with, because I'm on auction. Yeah. But, you know, thank God. I held on to the word as I sang. And he's able to help me sing. So he can, he's more than able. There's a song that little Wendy Sauceman used to sing. I think it was her, More Than Enough. God is more than enough. We can do anything through Jesus. All things are possible through him. You know, I thank him. He helped me sing those two songs, and normally I wouldn't have been able to get out one. God, I fail him every day. Maybe not every day, but I fail him, and God always forgives me, and he'll forgive you out there for all your faults, all your failures. There's another little song that Sister Elizabeth Sauceman used to sing, If You Are My Brother. Don't go tell another, go and tell Jesus on me. If your faults and failures, if my faults and failures you see, go and tell Jesus on me. You know, instead of us judging people and walking around and gossiping about people and putting people down, we should lift each other up because we're here to encourage one another. We need to look at our own self in the mirror. And if we see something in our brother or sister's life that we think they shouldn't be doing, we should be praying for them instead of talking about them. You know, my desire is to be more like Jesus and do what his, his will might be. And if we're living in a day and time, then we need to be ready for Jesus' is soon to come. You know, you might laugh at that and say, well, I've heard that all my life. You know, he's closer now than he was yesterday. You look around at the shape the world's in. He talked about how there'd be earthquakes and floods and storms and stuff in diverse places. And you look around and all over the world in Texas, they're flooding. We even have few floods here in Kentucky, and you hear of earthquakes everywhere, and wars, and rumors of wars, and Jesus is soon to come, and mine is ours to be ready. I pray for each one out there, and you pray for me. God bless you. Yeah, Bible verse, you think? Nothing that I can think of other than what I quoted is, you know, we can do more than 
with all things, Jesus, with all things, I'm getting confused here. But with Jesus, all things are possible. Yeah. I may not be getting it quite right, but it's, it's come passing through my mind and, and the scripture where it talks about wars and rumors of wars. So, you know, God is soon to come. We need to be ready. We need to be ready because, you know, even, even if he don't come today, Death could come to one of us tonight, any second, any minute. We're not promised tomorrow. God could come any time for one of us. You know, I had a little 23-year-old nephew that went to work a few years ago, and he never returned home. He was killed in a bad auto accident. You know, you don't have to be old to die. The old and the young both are dying. You might say, well, I'll put off tomorrow. I'll pray tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late for you. And, you know, hell is very real, and it's our choice where we want to go. Hell or heaven, you know, it's our choice. You know, if we want to go to hell, we choose that road and live a sinful life and do everything the devil wants us to do, then we're sure not going to make it into heaven. But, you know, my desire is to serve him, and I pray that each one of you will say a prayer tonight before you go to bed. Even if you just thank God for your life, that's a start. And ask him into your heart. Think about it. You can talk to him just like you talk to me. And God bless each one of there. Thank you. <clears throat> God bless. I'll be on Blog Talk Radio later on tonight. And that's going to be other videos. But these were just for YouTube and Facebook. Um, wasn't on Blog Talk Radio tonight. But I just kind of felt led to do everything that's been done tonight. And kind of felt God leading about it. Listen to God. See God throughout the night. Been doing this for a couple hours now, I guess, off and on. <laughs> but, um, so we don't know how many videos there is, but there's quite a few. But, anyways, uh, let's pray for us and pray God's will upon each and every of our lives today. God, I come to you one last time before I close out this series of messages today in the life. That's why I'm going to title this, but God, uh, a day in my life, like I said, not always been easy. But, God, it's the path that I chose and it's a path I feel like you kind of chose for me too because you know throughout everything I've been through in this life I would not be the same person I am today if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be able to reach the people that I can reach if I hadn't been through the things I've been through you know I've always lived my life with no regrets but lately I had one regret I feel like you released that for me today if anything else, nuts else come out of this, you know, I'm thankful for Chris. It ain't not Chris, and some of you might think, well, it's, you come out gay, and that's what your regret is. No, it's not. I love that man with all my heart, body, and soul tonight. And sometimes I don't understand why, or I stayed, but God, I always heard you say that you had a plan, you had a purpose, and things would happen. And yeah, I pray that you continue to do that, but. My one regret was the one person that Chris met. Well, Chris went to school with them, but I met him. And I always kind of felt like it was me, the one that maybe let Chris get addicted to, get addicted so bad the path that he chose. Because I was the person that said, hey, this guy's trying to get a hold of you. He went to try to talk to him. And he started talking to him. And ever since that moment, my life's just been going downhill. My marriage went downhill, but, and the, the part of me that always said, God, you know, I, I didn't know a lot about my life 